Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I thought I'd go over from something pretty simple, which is the mods that I use in current time whenever I play DRG. My previous mods that I always use video is pretty far out of date now just by some of the mods in that video not being functional anymore, some being replaced with newer versions that do the same thing, and also me adding a lot more mods to my daily drivers. I apologize if this video is a little all over the place, but we're basically just going to be going down the mod list, and maybe we'll hop out to look at some things whenever I find it relevant, but in general I'm just going to be going through the list. So first we have DRGlib, simply just some infrastructure stuff, it doesn't really do anything on its own, it just makes other mods work. Next, we have one that I don't use at all times, but I use a lot when it comes to making my outro, for example, and also other videos, is Better Time Control. This allows you to slow down time to as low as 1% of normal speed or speed it up as much as you want to. Like I said, I don't use this day to day because it's an approved mod, but I definitely get a lot of use out of it for content creation. And now a lot of the mods that I do use are things that just make the game a lot cleaner and more optimized. So for example, remove decals. It's not necessarily an FPS fix for me, it's just something unnecessary that I don't really care to have in the game. So Pulling them out just makes the gameplay experience a lot cleaner. I'll probably just refer to these types of mods as gameplay focused mods because there's a lot of them and I don't want to repeat myself over and over again. Then we have Hazard Persistence Enjoyer. This is a cool one. If you go into Mod Hub here, you simply get to pick what hazard level that you are going to auto select whenever you pick a mission. So normally whenever you pick a mission off of the mission map, it automatically defaults to hazard two, like you can see right here. So you'd have to go bup, 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 hazard five, and then confirm your mission. However, if you use hazard persistence enjoyer, you select hazard five, you open up, select your mission, and it already comes pre-locked and loaded with the level that you wanna play. So it just saves you a little bit of time on every mission selected, which over the course of how much I play this game saves a lot of time. Next we have message of the day and stat track. Stat track is a nice feature of this mod, while I don't personally use it very much. The main thing that I have it for is to post this message in chat whenever someone joins the game. It basically greets the player by their username, posts their rank, ping in milliseconds, and then posts this little section right here. Since I'm running a speedrunning lobby, basically all times that I'm running public, this message just kind of orientates people whenever they join the game to give them an idea of what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, it's incredibly toxic, I know. Next we have Silence of the Crumbs, which is just another gameplay cleanliness mod. Removes the noise from all the flashing molly beacons. Another one that I don't use very often is Seasonal Space Rig. It basically just allows you to set the Space Rig decorations to any event that's ever existed before. So that you can, you know, just enjoy Christmas, Halloween, whatever you'd like. Brighter Objects, because it's just cheating and it's great. Remove frozen death and impact particles. This one actually is a big frame rate saver for sure. I actually use another mod that's pretty similar to this. I've had some weird problems with this not this one not working, so I find that using the other mod as well has caused them to just like overlap and work even better. So general gameplay cleanliness, disruptive audio removal pack. I'm not sure exactly all of what remo is removed by this other than the things listed here. But basically, it just removes a lot of sound bites, sound clips, little audio things that you don't really need to hear, and they don't make the gameplay experience any better. They don't give you any sort of important information. So disabling them is just a boon to me. Retrograde Mod Spawner, because it makes some of the things that I use work. I'll be honest, I don't really understand what it does, personally, but it makes a lot of these mods work a lot better. Simple mission timer, simply put, puts a timer in the top right of your screen. As you can see, I've been sitting here quite a while before I started this mission, or excuse me, before I started this video, and you can also reposition it wherever you want on the screen. So if I put it at one, it's gone. It's gone forever. There it is. <laughs> so you can, uh, you can adjust the position of the time, please. There we go. You have to press enter. I figured it out. So you can move the timer around the screen to wherever you want it. I personally like it up in the top right. So you can do real time, mission time, and game time, all things like that. Weapon Heat Crosshair, this is a classic that I'm sure plenty of you have heard about, is whenever you're firing a heat or pressure based weapon, 
it will show you how close you are to overheating around where you're aiming so you don't have to take your eyes off of the target. Remove terrain destruction particles, this just general gameplay cleanliness cleans up things whenever you're mining or whenever you're drilling, it allows you to see better. Rancor's Rig HUD, now this, I think if I could only take one mod with me into the afterlife it would probably be this one. As cheaty as Brighter Objects is, I absolutely love Rancor's Rig HUD because it allows me to load into the space where I can instantly see we have a double XP point extraction in dense bio zone and a double XP escort in radioactive exclusion zone. So say I want to play that point extraction, bang, 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 I've got it locked and loaded, ready to go. And because of Hazard Persistence Enjoyer, it's already locked on 5. It's just too easy. Absolutely incredible mod. Combined resources. Now this is a big one. This allows you to really optimize public or non-vocal speed play because you can see the total inventory of your entire team at the bottom of your screen at all times. So the biggest boon of having this, obviously, is seeing whenever someone's carrying the remaining secondary objective. So if we get to the Hearthstone room and I see that we're missing six Apaka Blooms and I can see that the team as a whole has eight in their pockets, I literally don't even have to think about for the, that for the rest of the mission. Maybe I'll take a look at the top right of the screen whenever we get to the drop pod just to make sure they got deposited, but it gives you such incredible peace of mind and clarified focus on everything, as well as giving you a great idea of how much nitro your team is carrying and whether or not you need to focus on nitro more. So, incredible mod. It's definitely a close a close race with Rancor's Rig Hub for being my favorite. Sandbox utilities, simply put, it's just necessary for testing things. With how many weird interactions there are with enemies being freezeable or not freezeable, and also just being able to spawn in basically every entity of the game, Sandbox Utilities is just an amazing resource, and I'm so happy that Assembly made it. Worthless Gold, I mean, I really don't make use of this joke very often, especially not since it's verified. But uh, it would just be blasphemy if I didn't have it installed. Better post processing, I greatly enjoy because it allows me to disable things like the lens dirt that's always on your screen, this big smudge down here, you can turn that off. The vignetting effect, there's, you can remove film grain, chromatic aberration, and some other things if you like. But yeah, I am a, I'm a huge fan of better post processing. No low health heartbeat. I think this one's actually covered by another mod in this list, so this may not even be necessary to have anymore, but I, I still run it. it. No reason not to. Closer promotion terminal. Now, this is a good one. Yeah, see, we're right in our spawn cabin here. If we simply just turn around, we can promote from here. So instead of going all the way out here, running all the way up to the memorial hall, going all the way across, pressing the button, and then getting to it you can simply disband out of your team whenever you're playing with friends spawn here turn around click it click it and you're done i'm sure the rp community will be pretty upset about that that i'm optimizing the quote unquote fun out of even that but you know there's no enjoyment for me in riding up an elevator so what can you do build inspector this is a great one as much as people will think that they, their hair is on fire and that they're going to get kicked from games because someone else can see their build. Really more than anything, this just allows you to have a laugh at what your teammates are running or it allows you to deconflict your builds in the space rig without having to have a painstaking conversation with someone about what exactly they're running. Nine times out of ten, whenever someone's just absolutely getting bodied in a mission, I pop this open just to have a laugh at them running turret arc in Hazard 5, but I... I don't say I wouldn't say I kick anyone because of their build, so don't worry, you're 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 safe. Uh, based cringe mission end screens. That's just a critical one. This is the other frozen particle mod that I find both the mods are kind of jank on their own, but for some reason when I run both they just work perfectly. So there's that. Uh, bot gradient. This is simply just a cosmetic change that makes the bots a slightly different color, and I think it looks pretty cool. Show legs in first person. Subscribe to the OnlyFans for more dwarf feet. Clutter be gone. This is a pretty good middle ground I've personally found between remove all particles and remove all like non-gameplay features and actually looking pretty normal. But Clutter Be Gone is definitely one of my favorite mods recently as it makes the game incredibly clean 
and is exactly what I want from the game, which is gameplay focused. Uh, Bingus Book Mission Names. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, we got Sweaty Boredom, International Tear, Epic Room, Just Excuses, Eldritch Mechs, and I'm sure there's some other good ones around here as well. But uh, yeah, you get some, some pretty funny mission name combos that really blow those Reddit screenshots that you always see out of the water, so I'm a huge fan of that one. Remove damage overlays. This is a beautiful one for game gameplay cleanliness. I definitely find myself getting hit quite a bit by things like shockers and not realizing what's happening, but as I play more and more with it, I've gotten used to it, and goddamn, being able to see when you're being hit by enemies that would normally just blast your screen with these stupid overlays. Oh my god, it's so nice. These two are kind of the same thing. Uh, Maxwell Victory Move and Maxwell Loot Bug. I'm probably going to drop this one pretty soon as it makes the loot bugs really hard to see, but I will guarantee you that for the rest of my time playing this game, I will be running the, the Maxwell Loot Bug <laughs> victory animation. Go free, little fella. Oh man, that that one that one will never get old. When you get to the end screen and four people pull that out at the same time, classic. And then we have Mod Hub, which I guess just got an update because it's all the way down here at the bottom. This is like a more potent version of DRG Lib, to my understanding, where you press H and any mod that has any sort of controls, basically that you need to do like message of the day stat track simple mission timer weapon heat crosshair oh my god i didn't realize this had so many options that's crazy i use the d <laughs> if anyone was wondering i use the default settings for uh, weapon heat crosshair because i didn't know there was any settings that's kind of crazy but yeah anything that you actually look at uh you you go in here mod hub it's great it does everything but yeah that's pretty much it as far as mods that I run every day, I definitely use some of the other more unique ones for recording things. Like, I used to not be subscribed to Time Control and Sandbox Utilities and Seasonal Space Rig all the time, and I would just throw them on when I needed them, but generally now I just keep them in my subscription list and unchecked. And obviously, whenever I end up playing modded difficulties with other people, some of the modded difficulty mods make their way into my list, and I just periodically remove them just because I don't personally play modded difficulties of my own accord. So I'm sure one of the major, major things I'll hear in wake of this video is your mods remove fun from the game, which I personally have never really had a grasp on that argument because I don't look at DRG and say, oh my god, a particle effect? Fun. All I'm saying is that if you've already left a comment on this video that say your mods remove all the fun from the game, I think you should just go th watch 3D Mark Fire Strike full demo high quality 1080p HD official upload because apparently your definition of fun is particle effects. I'm just yanking your chain. As always, thank you for watching and have a nice day.